Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 15 out of my 21 days of Eve. If this is not an exact representation of what lockdown has been like, I do these looks every single day. So you'd think I would know that every single day is a different number. Yet the last two days in a row I've said this is day 15 and I had to edit it out. And I'm after saying it's day 15 again and it's not, it's day 16. So I'm going to continue saying it's day 15 and it's not, it's day 16. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing a 90s themed look and in the 90s thin eyebrows and a red lip was like the trend at the time. So if you've ever seen any of the pictures of Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, Jennifer Aniston, Angelina Jolie, you'll notice they all have really really thin eyebrows and it's always a red lip. So well not like a bright red, it's kind of like a burgundy red lip. So then for today's look I'm going to be thinning out my eyebrows so there's like a technique that you can use. It's by putting like kind of a wax or any kind of brow gel you have through your brow and then tweeze it really really tight together and try thin out your eyebrow as much as possible and then I have the shade 90s in the Vive lipstick so that would be perfect and then for my eyeshadow look I'm going to do one wash of Lava Rock and I think I might go a little heavy in my waterline Okay, so I've thinned out my eyebrows as much as I possibly can just by pinching them together. And then now I'm just gonna go in and fill them out as normal and I'll put my base down for my eyeshadow. Okay guys, we seem to have a bit of a problem. So I've started using this retinol eye cream. It's by the Inky List. And somehow there, when I was just putting on my concealer on my eyelid, um, my skin has... <laughs> The dead skin cells from my eyelids are starting to peel away all here. So you can kind of see where I have patches of dead skin on my eyelid. I'm gonna I'm still gonna do the look, I'm still gonna try like just kind of work around it, but you can see kind of like patches of dead skin are peeling away from there. That must be a really strong retinol eye cream. So moving on with the first shade, I'm gonna go in with the shade Lava Rock and I'm just gonna blend that out all over my lid. Okay, so next I'm going to use the shade Goodnight and I'm going to use an angled brush and I'm just going to run that along my lash line. Okay, so I've done mascara, but I don't think I'm going to put lashes on because in the 90s, lashes weren't really a thing. But as well, contouring wasn't really a big deal. Like, if you look at anybody from the 90s, they just have really, like, flawless skin. Their base makeup is very flat. Contouring wasn't really a thing. So today, I'm not going to be contouring my face heavily. I'll probably put a little bit of blusher on, but I'm just going to do a very, very flat base. I'll just put concealer under my eyes and then just go in with my foundation and the Hollywood Flawless Filter.
Okay guys, I have my base on, but I must have dragged the retinol eye cream a little bit further down onto my cheek because, I don't know, are you able to see it on the camera? If I'm further back, can you see? Look, my skin's all peeling away. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look the worst, like this, the, my makeup still went on, but I can just see little lines of skin peeling away. I'm gonna have to exfoliate my face after this. Okay, so in the 90s, lipstick and lip liner were a big thing. So, as I said before, lipstick was always like kind of a burgundy red or else brown. Brown was like really big in the 90s, but also what was huge was overlining your lip with a darker liner and then having a lighter lip. So, I think I'm going to go in, obviously I'm going to be using the Vive Modern Matte Lipstick in the shade 90s suited for today so i'm gonna attempt the darker lip liner and the lighter lipstick but if it doesn't work i'm just gonna blend 90s into bark Okay, so even though we had a bit of a mishap with the retinol cream and I look like a shedding snake, this is my day 15 out of my 21 days of Eve. If you'd like to see the rest of my looks, you can follow me over on my Instagram and I will leave a full product list of everything I've used in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching my video so far and if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next video.